Hi guys, welcome to my home. I'm Inezia. I'm a lover of all pretty things and making the not so pretty things pretty again. If you're the type of person that walks through the aisles at Dollarama and sees things for what they can be and not necessarily for what they are, then you're my kind of people. Today I'm going to take you through a DIY I made um, using some foam balls and a glass vase from Dollarama. This DIY was inspired by the bubble pot from H&M. I just thought it was a little small and I just wanted to put my own spin on it. Okay, let's get to it. So I went over to my local Dollarama and I grabbed a couple of these styrofoam balls and I created this. My inspiration came from H&M's bubble vase, except the one I created was much larger in size. So originally I thought I needed two bags of these foam balls, but I ended up having to run back to get two more bags. I used Rust-Oleum brand spray paints, uh, both for the primer and the accent stoneware spray. And then a $4 vase that I also grabbed at Dollarama, which is a great size. So what you're going to do first is just cut each and every one of these little styrofoam balls in half. I use the kitchen knife, but in hindsight, I think a craft knife would probably give you a cleaner cut. So once those were all cut in half, I just used my glue gun to stick them down on the vase. Uh, first, I worked my way across the vase and then I started working my way down. Um, my lines weren't perfectly straight, but I think that's the beauty of handmade items is you don't want them to look machine made. You want them to have a little bit of character and mine definitely did. <laughs> Once that was done, I brought the vase outside and I spray painted it with my paint and primer in one. I gave it a nice uh, heavy or substantial coat, uh, just enough to cover the glass. I ended up spraying the inside of the vase as well. Um, in hindsight, again, I probably would have just covered the inside so I wouldn't have had to spray it, but it didn't work out that way. That was fully dry I just gave it a light coat of this stoneware spray unfortunately I didn't get it on video but that's what it looks like and I am super ecstatic with the final product I couldn't have asked for something better I have it on my kitchen table and I am obsessed 